Baby so just got in traps. What happened? So uh, in a market, you're not allowed to use baby stroller. Makes sense. It's pretty dangerous with all these little trucks going around. Yeah. Good morning, lot winners. It is very rainy and sad and gray day here in Tokyo. Uh, we are going to the wholesale fish market. We're going to see uh, where all the sushi comes from, basically, which is going to be kind of neat. Uh, but first, we have to figure out which is the best. Family Mart, 7-Eleven, and Lawson's. So far, Family Mart's winning, but we just found a Lawson's, which kind of looks like the font that you'd see in like a Wild West movie. I don't understand how that's a Japanese thing. Okay, we have crab stuff here. We have kind of the same the same stuff as I saw in Family Mart. Salads, you have your basic hot dog. You have these onigiris. Oh man, monster energy drink. Zero calorie. That is definitely going in my belly. All right, we spent about a $7.50. I will say Lawson's not stacking up the Family Mart. You got, what'd you get here? Onigiris? I don't know what's this. That looks like a nice little onigiri. Oh, that's like a like almost like a sushi roll. Looking super cute today, aren't you? Look at your little socks. Looking super, super cute today. So we used to eat these all the time in Taiwan. Yeah, I love I used to eat these like every day. Remember, you did it wrong. You need to follow the directions. One is here. Oh, crap. Oh, you're looking like I a noob. You're looking like a noob, dog. What flavor did you get? I don't know. This is a difficult thing in Japan is we actually don't know what the hell we're doing. I have a little bitey, bitey osa there. Mm, I like the crunch. Did you get a tuna? Mmm. What is that? A fish. Fish. Wow, what a surprise. Fish in Japan. Oh my gosh, baby. What did she do? Oh. <laughs> oh no. You made a mess. We can't leave litter on the ground, so we, we picked up the rice. Uh, anyway, I got these uh, chicken, chicken cheese nuggets. <laughs> chicken nugget around a ball of cheese. So the crust of the nugget is actually cheese. That's freaking awesome. Let's get to the fish market, heading down these awesome cool alleyways. We'll see you soon. Super sweet lady just uh, came up to me and told me that my bag is unzipped and it was. Couple things on the way as we walk through Tokyo right now. We've kind of exited like the super swank Manhattan-esque level of uh, Ginza and we're in like a more local part of Tokyo for sure. We see normal people now <laughs> and it looks like a normal country. Maybe a little bit more like America in that respect. People are, are a little noisier, they're having conversations. It's not super, super subdued, right? Got a little bit of graffiti on the signs. It feels like a more normal place. Man, I saw a lot of drunk people. So we were like, wow, these restaurants are open early because yesterday we had such a hard time finding food at like this time around breakfast time. But actually what we realized was they never shut down. These red faced like salarymen dudes just getting plastered, still drinking. Saw this woman, she's probably taller than me, walking around this dude. Man, she was almost collapsing drunk like in the train station, crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, people party. I guess like you work so hard all week that when you go out to drink and hang out, you just go for it, you go for it, you don't waste any time. Apparently they have natural loss in as well. Now we have a new contender. What they do when they do zhuangxiao or build something is they set up these huge kind of barriers which keep all the sound and all the fragments and all that kind of stuff outside. This is, like I never thought of this, but this is what they need to do in China. We have a spotting of the white dress boys. These boys, all dressed in white. I don't get it, I've seen like three groups of them now and they're just all dressed in white and they reek of booze and I think they're up all night. Someone tell me in the comment section, what are these white dress boys doing? Are they a gang? Cute little touches, they have highway exits here right in the middle of Tokyo, which is so convenient. However, I have just found out that it costs, and I'm not joking with you, one dollar per mile in tolls. Those two girls saw you from far away. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, that, that dude must be really tired. <laughs> Feel like this. Kill himself like this. Just like, get, get him a selfie. 
selfie stick <laughs> so that he can like don't need to hold it like that but he don't know we understand okay? oh they were speaking chinese were they being sarcastic no oh they, they, they wanted to be concerned. helpful no one told me Kim Jong-un opened a sushi restaurant in Japan. Why is everyone so excited? <laughs> what the hell? I kind of want to go. Yeah, there's like a whole room for vending machines where you can smoke and vend. That's crazy. We are now in the... How do you say this place again? Tsukubuji? Tsukiji. Tsukiji. Nippon Fish Port Market. Tsukichi. Nippon. Japan Fish Port Market. So this is where all the uh, the fish come in. We're right on the sea. This is a little bit more of a rough, a little harder. I like it. I like the feel. But uh, yeah, so they bring all the fish in here wholesale. We saw some absolutely gorgeous crabs. Those king crabs look freaking amazing. And uh, yeah, needless to say, it's incredibly crowded in here. It's difficult to get around. But, I can't um, really take my eyes off those. These seasons. guys are... These guys are going for the raw oysters. The raw oysters. Can we eat it raw? Yeah, it's also three thousand yen. So. Do you want to go for it? Yolo. Yolo. I actually think that we can go to one of these restaurants and get the same thing for much cheaper. Um, because you're gonna, you're, yeah. I mean, this is where everyone comes to have a look, right? I have a feeling it's gonna be more expensive here. Is it people actually recommend that like eat it outside? Yeah. Apparently you should go to the restaurants outside and that's where you'll get the best sashimi from this market. Why are you mad, bro? Why are you mad? These guys are awesome. Go for it. You want to drink out of a grapefruit? Yeah. Okay. Give me, give me, give me. Here. 500. You too poor for juice? I can give you a thousand. No. Mm, that's just like mm. yummy. Mm. You like it? Mama want it. Mama wants it now. Give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> she loves it. I've been uh, sent on a crab mission. Crab and scallop. Yeah. Let's take our time. Let's do one. Let's do one at a time. No. Okay. No. Well, I'll try my best. I'm gonna fight my way through the line for you. You ready? Here we go. One, one. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. I deliver to you the gift of king crab. Only $10. Really good. The claw here. This is the, the main event for the go. This music is making me want to throw up. This is the weirdest shit I've ever heard in my life. Succulent sweet. You want some? She does like it. You like it? Mmm. I saw your favorite baby at Sea Urchin. You gotta try it out. Thank you. All right, it's your favorite sea urchin. You ready? It's raw, right? It's still alive, theoretically. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know how sentient they are. Is it good? You can have the really creamy taste and like um, the soy sauce is not overtaking it because we didn't put anything in it. It's not fishy. It's fantastic and succulent. They still, the little spindle, spindly things still move. They're moving when I touch them. Okay, let's eat your babies. Is this a sperm of the sea urchin? Yes. So, that's, this is the money shot, guys. Still, still not a fan. <laughs> Didn't change my mind. Tastes like dirt. If dirt was mixed with eggs and cream. And the fact that it's semen doesn't really help. Maybe you can finish this off. Baby just got in trubs. What happened? So uh, in a market, you're not allowed to use baby stroller. Makes sense. It's pretty dangerous with all these little trucks going around. Yeah. So he kindly told you in English? Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That nice old man spoke English. That's rare. Uh, anyway, it's been really interesting to see this kind of 
from start till stop, right on the bay, getting the tuna in, getting the fish in, getting all the shellfish, chopping them up, putting them in like freezer packs, right in the bay, and then right into uh, restaurants basically here in Tokyo, serving all of the hungry citizens here. This is pretty damn cool. They basically shut off the entire street to pedestrians, or for pedestrians, and they get rid of all the cars and stuff. So like, all this traffic and craziness that was happening yesterday, it's all gone, and you can just literally just chill out and have a picnic in the middle of the road. It's kind of surreal, isn't it? Because we saw the traffic here, Ferraris and stuff ripping by, and you know, really dense, densely packed cars, and now it's just a free-for-all. It's pretty awesome stuff. Hey, Vivi, you want to do like a stupid cliche, Ginza girls? I just made that up. Ginza girls, and we spin around. Like, like how? One, two, three, go. <laughs> wow, everyone, look at where we are. This is beautiful. Oh my god, can you see all this stuff around <laughs> us? I'm getting so dizzy. <laughs> Holy shit. This is such can a bad idea. Stop? This is such a bad idea. I'm dizzy. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> that was a really bad idea. That's stupid. Oh, Ginza girls, what's up? I'm too old Ginza for Ginza girls. Uh, the first subscriber meetup we had in, in Tokyo. Ready, ready, yeah, yeah, yeah. ready. First time. So what's your name? Hiro. Hiro, nice Hiro. to meet you. Hi, Aya. Aya, Hiro and Aya. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> so you've been watching Laudy 6 in Italy? So many times. So really? Many times. Almost every day. What, what makes you watch uh, videos about China? Well, um, I go to China often, quite oh, often, really? for uh, my business. Okay. And I, and I, uh, I don't know, you guys provide such a uh, raw uh, information yeah, yeah. about the, uh, how they're living in China. Nice. So uh, I'm such a big fan of you. That's so awesome. Thanks so much for saying that. I really appreciate that. Awesome, guys. According to my lack of like uh, understanding about the Chinese character about this bridge, I said like something like they have a fire and an earthquake etc. Uh -huh. And then 